Well, hey everybody, it's me, Jermaine, and I'm back for another Simple Truth Update. And before I get started, I definitely want to give a shout out and a thank you to my brother out there in England, Brother Mike. I want to thank you for that uh, that that uh, intro and that outro. Truly appreciate the uh, labor of love that you gave to me. But today, what I want to share with you is I want to talk to you about perception versus reality. It's often been said that one's perception is their reality. However, there are many times that what people perceive is not actually how a person actually is or, um, you know, what they're really about. And um, that, that is definitely um, evident when it comes to my pastor, Pastor Charles Dow, because there's a whole lot of people out there that have the mindset that they think that because they see him on camera, on a YouTube video, or if you're fortunate enough to be on Patreon, um, or even if you see him in a Sabbath broadcast, and they really and truly believe that because they see him, that they know him. They perceive, they have a perception, and through that perception, they make a judgment. And that is a very, very, um, that is a very, very dangerous thing to do when you think that you can sit and you can judge someone just because of the fact that you see them on a video. That could be the same thing for when it comes to me and uh, your perception of me. If you do not know me, you do not know my manner of life or you don't know my lifestyle, you can be very, very incorrect in your perception and that judgment could be incorrect. But it's just very important that we get to the point where we, before we open our mouths, before we begin to say anything about anyone, that we first uh, make an attempt to know them better. Uh, if you can't know them face to face, just watch and uh, look at their manner of lifestyle. And because of their manner of lifestyle, it will bear fruit. And because of that fruit, then from that fruit, you can have a better idea of if what you're perceiving is actually real. And that is just something that I think many, many people need to pay attention to. And, and uh, because of that, there have been a lot of misperceptions and a lot of um, talk and a lot of words that have been put toward people that are incorrect. And because those words are incorrect, then people have to come back and they have to repent or make apologies. So maybe, maybe, just maybe, we need to hold our tongue in judgment or in words against someone until we actually have the opportunity to better view the, the person as well as their fruit. That is the simple truth of the whole matter. I want to thank you for joining me on this episode, and I'll be sure to see you, you, and you again on another episode real soon. It is the simple things that are oftentimes the most profound, but yet they're the most difficult to put into practice and to actually do. 